So hi everybody, welcome back to another video of 802 Windows Craft with Sean's Chassis. So today again, uh, this will be video two of my lashing videos. Um, we are doing the Square Mach 2 and the floor lashing. So the Square Mach 2 is the exact same thing as you would expect to see as a square lashing, except that the only difference in, in how you tie it. So you will need a slightly longer rope for this. Um, I made this a little longer for multiple reasons. Um, but, so you'll just need to start with a rope halfway like this, and then you're gonna loop it down this way. You're gonna pull down like so, come up. So make sure you pull all the rope up. Then you're going to cross, like so, and come back down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to cross down, so it's a little different because you're on top of the log this time. So you need to get this rope onto the bottom. So like I like to do is just kind of do that to begin the frapping stage. And then you're gonna frap three times like this with the two ropes. Uh, you usually do this three times, uh, but I'm gonna do it four times just as ease for now. And instead of ending this in a clove hitch, you're gonna end this off in a square square knot. So a square knot is just overhand. Um, I'll do it up here. Usually you lay it right down there, but you can't really see that. So you're just gonna take this rope. So you have the right and left, right? Okay, I got the right and left. The right's gonna go over the left, kind of like that. You're gonna tie down. Oh no, it's left over right, right over left, sorry. I, I get confused sometimes when I think about this. I think about it too much. Like that. Um, so that's the end of the, the Mach 2 square lashing. Um, I generally find this one a little looser. So it's gonna take some practice to uh, actually be able to get it tight enough to actually be used um, in a project. So I would suggest that you do your best in the uh, in that department and uh, hopefully get better. So now what we're gonna do is something called the floor lashing. So some terminology for support beam or spar, and then there's the tread. So the tread that are gonna be sticks to be used to walk on as a surface or use as a table, because you can also be used as a table. Um, so how, pretty much the overview of how this is gonna work is gonna have a square, or you're gonna have a it's right here. And they're gonna wrap above and below, and then we come back around and we go above and below. So just make a pattern like this across and then we're gonna end it with a clove hitch. Okay, so a clove hitch again, for those who are new and have been watching, just watch this video, is that you're gonna put this, the rope around the log. You're gonna make an X, just like that. And then you're gonna come back around and you're gonna put it in this area right there. And that's a clove hitch right and now what we want to do is make sure this is on the bottom because it does matter. You're going to take this rope right here and wrap it around the main, so that your longer strand that's coming out of the clove hitch. Um, and then you're going to come above. So you're going to move these right here. And you want to go below. And when you come back up, make sure you pull up all your rope. Then we're going to come above and below. And it's going to rinse and repeat as many times as you need. I just did four for simplicity's sake. You're going to do the same thing. As we began, we're gonna end with a clove hitch. So like that, and there's your floor lashing. 
Um, there is other ways of doing this too. So there's like double floor ashing where you can come back around to do this. This is one though, it's in the BSA they teach you. Um, it's a simpler one. Um, if you are more interested in seeing the other version of this, just let me know um, and I'll do it. But other than that, I hope you liked the video. If there's any lashings you'd like to see more, uh, there will be two other videos coming out about this too. Um, so it might be in there. Um, then again, it might take me a couple weeks to get to them, depending on how hard they are. Thank you for watching 802 Windscraft uh, with Thomas. And uh, please like and subscribe.